What is up, YouTube? Spectacular Spider Grandpa coming back at you this time with another contest entry for my man Louis Joel. Um, he just hit 100 subs. Congratulations, brother. Um, so, yeah, so of course he wants you to uh, sub to him. Um, and uh, which I have been for since Louie probably first started. Um, he's a great guy, great channel, he's got a great collection. Big fan of the Hulk. I'm down with that, man. Um, so let's get right into these questions he wants us to answer. He wants to know um, your least favorite superhero. I'm going to get a lot of hate mail for this. This is a guy I never really caught on to, never liked his books. Um, not a real big fan. I mean, he's a cool character, but I just, I, something about it just didn't sit right with me in my whole collecting career. Um, and ready for the hate mail? And that's going to be the Mighty Thor. Right there. That dude. I, I never really cared for Thor. Um, his movies, the movies that just came out were okay, but Thor again, um, Never, never found anything going on with Thor. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that that is one book I, I never buy unless it's old, old, some journey into mystery shit. Um, so, yeah, Thor, least favorite superhero, Thor. Um, ben Louis wants to know our favorite DC, Marvel, and indie guy. Now, favorite DC, I've, I've been a Marvel guy my whole life, but if I would have to pick one favorite DC character, that would have to be Lobo, um, not the old school Lobo when, um, you know, Lobo's back and um, infanticide, and I don't have any uh, Lobo books, they're all in storage, um, but my favorite DC character pretty much is Lobo. Um, yeah, so, he wants to know our favorite Marvel character. If anyone watches my channel, knows that I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I've been a Spider-Man fan my whole life. Here's Peter Parker in the first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. And this is actually a first one of my um, books from my first collection that I kept. The only one that I kept out of the first collection. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 149 graded at a 5.0, the first appearance of uh, Ben Riley, Spider-Man's clone. So, huge Spider-Man fan. I, actually, I'm a huge uh, Spider-Verse fan. Silk, um, uh, Spider-Gwen, all them Spider-Women. Um, now, Louis wants. Our favorite indie hero. Um, well, you don't get much independent than this right here. This is Captain Nauticus and the Ocean Force. Um, these books were produced by the National the National Maritime Center in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. No, I'm kidding, guys. But yeah, this is. Um, these are some funny books. You could you could only got you could only got get you could only get these at Nauticus. I don't know how I came about these, um, but if you don't know what Nauticus is, it's a maritime museum, and that's that's it at the bottom there. If you're ever down in uh, Virginia, come check it out. It's a pretty cool place actually. Um, but ser on a serious note, um, indie books. My favorite is. This Coming up at a close second is um, Spawn. This is Spawn number one autographed by Todd McFarlane. But he's not my favorite. My favorite is the Savage Dragon. Man, I, I've always loved the Dragon Man. Great, violent book. He's from Chicago. That's where I was born and raised. Um, so I'm a big fan of Eric Larson's art. So. And I, I always see these uh, number ones in the uh, 50 cent bin or dollar bin or what have you, and I always get them. I give them out, you know, what have you, but I don't know if image counts as a 
independent book anymore, but back when this came out, he was. So, my favorite independent uh, comic hero is Savage Dragon. So, and Louis Duell also wants to us to give a shout out. Who can we shout out? Um, I don't know. Let's see who we could shout out. Let Let me pull up YouTube real quick. See who's who we're gonna shout out here. Sorry, guys. I didn't. I was not prepared. Um, let's go to. You know what? I'm gonna, sh you know, I'm I'm gonna go off the comic um uh, realm here. I'm gonna take it to left field here. Um, okay, my brother from another mother, Patrick Bagden. He's a up and coming stand up comedian in the Chicagoland area. Um, him, him and his girlfriend um do movie reviews on a channel called Two Drunk Minimum, and uh, they rate the movies by whiskeys like. Three with three and a half whiskeys, and it, it is just the funniest stuff, man. And he only has like six, six subscribers. I keep telling him, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you more subscribers over there. So what I want you guys to do is, if I if I remember, I'll link the channel below. Um, Two drunk minimum. He just reviewed Suicide Squad. Him and his girlfriend. Great stuff, man. Great funny stuff. It's not for kids though, so you kids stay away from that shit. Um, don't don't go over there. Tell him. Spider Grandpa sent you and you get in trouble. Uh, I'll find you. Anyway, just kidding. This is about Louis Jewel. 100 subscribers, man. Congratulations. Um, I'll see you at 200. Um, this is my contest entry. I have had a great time doing it. See you around the corner, Louis. Be kind to one another.